What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another GeForce Now News Thursday. So we're going to get right into it this week. We've got 27 games to announce for April, 10 of those being this week. And yes, we've got some Star Wars coming along with that. So we're going to get into that. We've got a couple of new things to announce as well for GeForce Now before we get into the games. But I also want to touch on April just a little bit really quickly because we got 22 additional games that weren't originally announced. And if you follow GeForce Now for very long, you're aware that they almost always have games come to the service that aren't on the roadmap or that aren't announced, which is great. Now, in the case of April, this was really important because April was looking like a really slow month and there wasn't much happening, but all of a sudden we got to the middle of the month and releases started to come. We've got God of War, Lost Ark. We got features to the app with in-game FPS, a new row, uh, to find our games. We've got up to bitrate to 75 megabits per second in the app. So a lot of exciting things were happening. And with this week's news, there's more excitement coming to uh, the service and to the PC app and more titles coming. So it's really, really great to see them on a roll like this. So let me list out those 22 games just really quickly for you that we got that weren't originally announced and that really kind of helped save April for GeForce Now. We had Conan Exiles, Dune Spice Wars, Fell, Seal, Arbiter's Mark, God of War, Halamento, Leela's Sky Arc, Lost Ark, Lamote, MotoGP 22, Need for Speed Heat, Northgard, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, Prehistoric Kingdom, Romans Age of Caesar, Sea of Craft, Sherlock Holmes the Devil's Daughter, Space Punks, Terraformers, Trigon Space Story, Tunic on the Epic Game Store, Vampire Masquerade, Blood Hunt, and War Stride Challenges. So those were all games that came, and like I said, games like Lost Ark and God of War were big, and they really helped push GFN into a nice place for April. But with that month out of the way, we're into May. We've got some Star Wars games to talk about. We've got other releases uh, to announce and we've got a couple of things to go over first. So if you're rocking a Galaxy S22, S22 Ultra, Galaxy Z Fold 3, a Flip 3, or a OnePlus 9 Pro, you now can stream on your 3080 tier at 120 FPS with the app there on Android. So it's nice to see them add more support for more devices, especially for that 120 FPS gaming, which is a beautiful thing on a 120 FPS screen. The next thing that we have to announce is a big deal, and especially for a lot of people that have been asking about this, 4K streaming coming to the PC and Mac apps, the native apps for PC and Mac, you are now going to be able to stream in 4K, not just topping off at the 1440p, and that's nice because they've also allowed us that additional bitrate, which in my opinion last week or a couple weeks ago was a little bit of a hint that we could kind of see this because with upping the bitrate, it did help 1440p look better, um, but it would be even more important when it comes to 4K. Uh, you really want that bit rate uh, most of the time 75 and up like 75 is your minimal uh, when you're looking at 4k unless your internet just can't handle it so I'm really happy to see this feature coming we'll be testing that out here on the channel and over on the CGX channel for sure we'll do some comparisons we'll look at some games in 4k um, this is going to help me get back to those videos where I can do 4k on the PC to dial in settings for a solid 60 FPS and then go apply those use those on the shield TV and that will help you guys get 4k 60 over on your 4k TV. So we can't see in-game FPS on the Shield TV, unfortunately. So with 4K coming to PC or Mac, you could dial those 4K settings in there and then get your 60 FPS over there. So I'm excited to get into that kind of stuff. I'm really uh, excited to get in and play around with the 4K. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you've been waiting for 4K to come to GFN and if you'll be using that, um, even if you don't have a 4K monitor, if you're like me, you might have a gaming PC also dedicated to your TV. Um, I've had quite a few people reach out to me and say that they would love to be able to hook their PC up to their 4K TV and get 4K GFN and you're going to be able to finally do that. So let's go ahead and get on to the games because we do have uh, the Star Wars games that have dropped here. We've got three of those plus seven other titles for the week. So let's jump into those. All right, guys, and these three Star Wars games are for Steam or Origin, however you want to go uh, with that. And we've got Star Wars Battlefront 2 here. We've got uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and we've got Star Wars Squadrons, which would be the newest of uh, the releases. The other ones get a little bit older. Jedi Fallen Order was a fantastic game. If you haven't played it or you've been looking for a reason to get back in and finish it, uh, this is a good excuse. I love this game. I've played through it twice, and I usually don't have time to beat games anymore between the channel, work, family, 
family, you know the deal. Um, it can be difficult, but I highly recommend um, playing through this game if you get a chance, and they're already working on the sequel, uh, so I can't wait for that. And Battlefront 2, uh, it was really rough at launch in 2017. This game has come a long ways, and it's it's actually a really good Star Wars game now. Uh, great PvP, a lot of fun. I still enjoy it. We'll definitely check it out here uh, on the channel. It's one of those games I'd probably want to do 1440p 120 because of the competitive aspect, um, but if you want to rock uh, 4K 60 with that, you should be able to do that as well. So we've that, that's that's really exciting for me to see the EA partnership. Um, you know, bringing more games. I know we've all been talking about that. We've been wanting to see more games come from EA. Um, we've got Need for Speed Heat and Plants vs. Zombies uh, recently, and now we've got these three Star Wars games come on. Uh, so it's nice to see. And these are all all um, on sale too. So if you want to jump in and get 80 to 75% off, uh, this is a great time to jump in and play those on GFN. So let's get in and talk about the other seven games that we've got for this week. So moving on to the other seven games for this week, six of them are actually new releases as well. So let's get into those. They're mostly on Steam, but a little bit of Epic Game Store here. The first one being Bakery Sim uh, Simulator. Uh, get up before dawn and see what it's like to be a baker. Learn to bake several dozen types of bread. Use realistic bakery machines. Deliver orders to stores. Earn and invest. Use original recipes or experiment with ingredients. So look, simulators aren't everybody's thing, but there's a ton of people out there that love them. So here's a new simulator for you uh, you can go work on becoming a baker and that's a day and date release on steam and next up is also a day and date release for steam and this is oaken which is a turn-based tactical roguelike uh, set in a spirit inhabited world explore the great oak gather allies and trinkets learn to use the uh, positioning for your advantage choose how to upgrade your cards wake the spirits and save the oak um, and it looks like they're getting decent reviews right now i don't know much about the game but uh, it could be a lot of fun to check out now, next up, we've got another day and date release for Steam with Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. And uh, you'll become a real paleontologist. You'll explore various environments and search for dinosaur fossils, dig for and study the remnants of these majestic creatures to learn about their evolution. Build your own museum and experience an immersive background story. And this is a May 4th release for Steam. And uh, the game looks uh, not too bad. It's got some mixed reviews right now. But uh, again, simulators are uh, something a lot of people are into. And GFN does a great job of bringing those so um, might be something that is up your alley. Now, next up, we've got Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate, and this is for Steam and the Epic Game Store. You lead humanity's greatest weapon, the Grey Knights, in this fast-paced, turn-based tactical RPG. Root out and purge a galaxy-spanning plague in a cinematic, story-driven campaign using the tactics and talents of your own personalized squad in Daemon Hunters. This was May 5th, 2022, like I said, on Steam and the Epic Game Store. I really like the Warhammer uh, franchise. My time gets short these days to try all these games, uh, but this would definitely be one I would check out if I got the time. Now, moving over, we've got an interesting looking release with Trek to Yomi. Now, this is kind of coming out everywhere, and I was really happy to see that it's going to be supported here on GeForce Now as well. A May 5th release for Steam and the Epic Game Store. And Trek to Yomi is um, not a game I know a lot about, but the art style looks really awesome. It says, uh, as, as a vow to his dying master, the young swordsman Hiroki... Uh, yeah, Hiroki is sworn to protect his town and the people he loves against all threats. Faced with tragedy and bound to duty, the lone samurai must voyage beyond life and death to confront himself and decide his path forward. Uh, like I said, a May 5th release for Steam and the Epic Game Store. And I've seen a lot of videos on this and some gameplay, and I've heard it can be a bit tough, um, but the art style and the uh, chromatic um, non-color kind of black and white style they have here really interests me, and I think it's going to be something that I check out. And if you're purchasing it, it's 10% off right now. 18 bucks on Steam. I'm not sure what they're doing on Epic, but uh, it's not a really expensive game. It looks like a decent inti uh, to try out. Uh, next up, we've got Crowns and Pawns, Kingdom of Deceit. And uh, this is a new release on Steam for May 6th. And um, legends of the past come back to life in this charming point and click adventure. Pack your bags and journey with Crowns and Pawns, Kingdom of Deceit through modern day Europe to uncover the secrets of the king who was never crowned. Now, our final game here that we've got is uh, Frozenheim. And this is not a new uh, day and date release, but it is on Steam here. And Frozenheim is a, um, it's a Soren. Uh, Norse city builder with elaborate management and gameplay and RTS tactical combat. So you lead your Viking clan through hardships of frozen North season by season, year after year, build, survive, set sail, explore and conquer. You win Odin's favor and secure your place in Valhalla. So again, another uh, like a builder type simulator type game that we've got for that. And that was originally released May 20th, 2021. So it's about a year old for that game.
And that's our 10 games for this week. Uh, three Star Wars games, six day and dates, and then the older title uh, with Frozenheim. So really great to see. I think it's a strong week. I really like seeing uh, the EA partnership produce some more games. Like I said, we got the uh, Need for Speed and Plants for Zombies recently. We've got these three Star Wars games, and I really hope it just becomes a trend. EA has so many great games they could bring over to GeForce now. I hope that we just keep seeing more and more games. Older titles, new titles, um, we'll take them all. We want everything that's on PC to eventually come to GeForce force now. So uh, anyways, that's the titles we've got for this week. It's looking really good. Let's move over and get into the rest of the roadmap. 17 more games that are announced for May. So getting into the May roadmap and finishing off with these 17 games, I'm going to read through these quickly for you, but don't forget to come back every week for a full breakdown and surprise announcements and any other GeForce Now news on Thursday. So make sure you're subscribed and give this video a like and hit that bell if you haven't already. You know all the YouTube stuff. So going through this list, we've got Brigandine, The Legend of Runercia, a uh, new release on Steam, Neptunia, Ninja Wars, new release on Steam, uh, Cepheus Protocol Anthology will be a new release for Steam, Evil Dead The Game is coming May 13th on the Epic Game Store. Uh, we've got Old World as a new release on Steam. Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song will be a new release for the Epic Game Store. Crossfire Legion. Uh, Out There, Oceans of Time, a new release, as was Crossfire. Uh, My Time at uh, Sandrock, a new release on Steam. Turbo Slaws is a new release as well on Steam. Pogo Stuck, Rage with Your Friends. Uh, Raji, an ancient epic, Star Conflict, The King of Fighters 15, The Planet Crafter, The Political Machine 2020, and yet another Zombie Defense HD. So those are the other 17 titles that we know about for May. I'm sure we'll see some surprises in there along the way as GeForce Now does like to do. All right, guys, that's your GeForce Now news for this week. I went through it kind of quick and had a different format this week. Uh, I wanted to go back to the old school uh, way this week of doing a video. It was a, little, a lot of fun to get in front of the camera here and go over everything with you guys and more of a hangout. And I did keep it fast paced and tried to go through everything quickly because there was a lot to go through this week. Um, so I wanted to keep it moving. But anyways, that's our roadmap for May. That's our 10 games for this week. We've got the three Star Wars games. We've got 4K on PC and Mac. Uh, we've got more support for your Android phones. I think it's a great start to the month of May, and April turned out to be awesome as well. So kudos to GeForce Now. Uh, they just keep it coming. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to watch, as always. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave your comment, hit me with all that stuff. Thanks again for coming to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.